Hello digital how-to friends. Today I wanted to show you guys this really cool website but before we get started please don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up for more videos like this. So this website is called promptmania.com right here and what this is is pretty much it helps you write your prompts on discord so that you get more of what you want in the image. Let me show you. So to get started, you click try the prompt builder right here. And also it's not just mid journey, but they do do it for dream studio, stable diffusion and CF spark. But today we're only going to do mid journey. So then you click on the diffusion model that you're using and I'm using mid journey. Then it's going to take you to this page. And here you can put in, I'm going to put, so this is where you would put your prompt, like a subject. So I'm going to put rainbow with white fur cat there. And you can also add an image too, if you wanted to. Then here you're going to pick either face, spear or landscape. So I'm going to pick a face. Then we're going to add some details. So here is the art. You can pick any type of art you want here. If you want to pick it, if you don't, that's fine. There's also pencil art here or ink right here. There's pastel chalk and there's paint. And then There's also text right here. And these are the samples that you would get for it. And you can click any of them. But so far, I'm gonna do this one, digital art. So when you click something, if you scroll all the way back to the top, it goes right here. And if you didn't like it, you could delete it right here. And then we're gonna go back down and so we did the, so that's the words. And then there's the print. You got concept art. You can like look through these and see which one you like to add to what your prompt is. This is our origami, mosaic, banner, and then carvings, etching, and modeling. And then they also have pottery and glass, if that's the look you're going for. Light. Light painting, light painting, and light art. So you can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to do light painting to see how that looks like. Then the camera for the scenes, you can do color gridding. So you could literally pick any of them. I'm going to do wildlife photography and then film type. You can do night vision, Fiji, Kodak. Do I like any of these? No. And then the lenses, then you can pick through these, like which one you would want for the lenses. I think I'm going to do the super resolution microscope maybe no I think I'm gonna do the product view and then the blur if you want to blur it out and also now you're into color so what kind of colors would you want so I think I'm gonna pick um, a cool color palette and then monochromatic palettes is right here. There's contrast, motion picture process. So they pretty much have all the prompts for you to pick from. And you can like check out the designs and see which one. This is 2D to 5D dimension. I think I'm gonna do the 4D dimension. And then your resolution right here. HD, full HD, super resolution, megapixel. Let's do super resolution, see what that looks like. And then your palettes here. I'm going to try the Adobe. 
and then there's more here the bit and geometry right there and then there's bodies so there's so much that you could pick from and honestly you just got to keep playing with it so if you pick one that you don't really like next time don't pick it and choose something else and then there's emotions so let's do happy and there's concepts, refreshing, divine, thin, let's do powerful. And then symbols, number systems, lighting. So let's do, let's check this one, styles. Let's do beautiful lighting. Material, filters. There's all these filters you can use. Like, it's literally endless. You could spend so much time on here. And then here, you can do the compound details. And then here, you can, you can mimic an artist. So you can pick, like, Andy Warhol. And it's going to... Your um, prompt is going to look kind of like the drawing of whomever you pick the artist. But I'm going to skip all that. And then once you're all done, you're going to click here, copy it. Then you're going to go into your mid journey or sorry, into your discord. And um, you're going to click or you're going to type, sorry, backslash imagine space and put your prompt in and now it's going to render it for you and you just got to wait anything that is orange is yours right here and then you can just wait for it to see, let's see what we got a rainbow cat with white fur so let's see so far it looks okay the cat's eyes look kind of realistic. We're at 50%. 62. Okay, let's go down here. This one doesn't look like it has a face all of a sudden. But we'll see. And I wanted to mention too that... If you use the um, if you use the prompt mania here, you can get pretty realistic portraits too if you spend your time doing it. So like I did, like look how many times I did Pikachu. Like I kept playing with it and playing with it, and it just got weirder and then kind of cute there. This one I thought was really cool when I did like a, I just wrote spaceship over, flying over the moon. And then I did all the prompts in this, the prompt mania. And it turned out like that. So it was pretty cool. I also did Spider-Man, portrait of Spider-Man mask side by side. And that was really cool. And then just a bunch of these. So let's go back and see where our rainbow cat went. Oh, this one's really pretty. Okay. Where is my rainbow cat? Maybe it's down here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it doesn't look that good. But maybe I'll take this one. And I'm going to recreate it and keep going so now it's going to make variations for me right here and honestly you can spend hours on here just literally putting different prompts in checking this out like it's so much fun 
It's slowly coming. Okay, it's done. I don't like that. That looks like nothing. It looks like a blob. So we're going to press the refresh button. The refresh basically makes a completely new variation for you. So we're going to wait and see because that's not anything close to what I was picturing. And yeah, no, so that's super ugly. So let's go add some more stuff to this. Let's do dark. Let's not do blurry. Let's do, let's click a bunch more to see how it would turn out. Let's see. Okay, let's try and copy this and see what shows up. So copy, backslash imagine, and then put the prompt in. So that's what I normally do. Like if something doesn't turn out and it looks funky, then I'll go back and I'll add a bunch of stuff or take a bunch of stuff out on the top here. Like maybe I'm going to remove the that circuit and maybe Adobe and then I'm going to change the let's see here try to do a portrait but also add paparazzi photography and let's try and DSLR so let's copy that and let's go find okay so that's the new one when I did the second prom and that to me is still like especially these two like what the heck's happening this one's kind of cute with the back turned that's just a blob so let's imagine put in another prompt and honestly that's pretty much what you do for this website it helps you with prompts because if you don't know what to write like it adds all this stuff dark for dimensional super resolution happy accidents powerful beautiful lighting photography like it adds all this stuff for you right after you write your first part of your prompt right here because when people start out they don't know what prompts to write especially like the dimensions of a camera and so and so so this prompt mania website helps you out um, but because they have so much to select from it does get difficult to try and figure out which one is the best so you just got to keep playing with it so let's go back so this is at 81 93 and I'm going to refresh that because I don't think the cat's face is realistic enough for me so I'm just going to keep going with that and then if I don't like it go back here change it up again and just continue like if you know what you know like say wildlife photography if you're really into photography and all these things it'll be a lot easier for you but for me like I'm not I just literally play with the prompts so if I looked at like charcoal art would that go with per se pastel art like if I mix the two together how would it look like I actually have no idea so I just keep clicking random stuff just to see what I get but for the ones that are very artsy and love digital art and is already creating digital art um, before this AI mid journey, then honestly, it's a really good website for you guys to check it out. And I'm pretty sure you're going to make some amazing things. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this new website here that I found, Prompt Mania. And um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in our next video. 
So before I let you go, I just wanted to show you right here. This is what it made. Still don't like that. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say pick this one and I'm going to make that better. So before I let you go, I want to show you. See now, this is another variation and that's okay. So it's 65 now, percent. Let's go back up. That's not the one. This one's at 50 percent. And let's go back up here. Okay. Let's see the other one. So this one's at 77%, 86. Okay, look at the how weird that nose is. It's not cute at all. So I'm going to re fresh that and this one's still going once this is done obviously I don't like that I'm going to where did it go I'm going to I'm going to upscale to max and see how that looks like The more you upscale it and the more you, um, or sometimes you can light scale, but I like to upscale when it looks like this because it's really uh, weird looking. Then the better it looks, like you just got to keep doing it. So here you go. So this guy's looking a little bit better, but not really. So I'm going to pick the one that looks the most let's do four variation four that one's still going this one looks like no so I'm gonna remaster it and then see now this is looking a little better Oh, where did it go? See, now the eyes are looking a lot more realistic here. So let's go up. Oh, also, I wanted to show you if, for example, um, you know, you're looking at something like, say, this or this image that's still going, where did it go? Because it's really hard to find sometimes, like when you're scrolling like this. And I don't like that. That's ugly. But let's say once you do this, you click the happy face or sorry. Um, yeah, the happy face right here. Then you're going to click this envelope. And what that does is basically it's going to send you a private message for this image that you've created because it's really hard scrolling up and down trying to find it. So if you, you know, once you do it, you can just look through it or go into your messages here and it will show you the cat right here. And then you can jump to message, which takes you back to exactly where it is. Okay, this one looks really cool. So I'm going to do variation two. I'm just going to forget about that because it looks super ugly. And then I just keep playing with it. Up until the point, like, if you look at my Spider-Man, for example, I didn't like any of these. So I just kept going and going until I got to this. This was like the final one that I actually like. But because this, it didn't have enough dimensions and lines for, for me. So this was perfect. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.